Hi there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're going to go over the social media elements that are available in Website Builder. So if you log into the Website Builder, at the very left side of the screen, you're going to see a panel, and at the top of the panel, it says Elements. So you're going to want to click on Elements, and then you'll see the list of categories of the elements that are available. For this purpose, we're going to click on Social. There are many elements that are available. We're going to go through all of them. I do want to make a quick note, though. These three elements are for Google+, and Google+, has been discontinued, so those are going to be removed from the builder in a future update, but for now, we're just going to kind of ignore them. So, starting off, there's the social links icons. Now, this is probably going to be the most used element for social media. Um, that's because they're basically icon buttons that people will be able to click on to be directed to your social media pages. And that's really useful for getting people to connect to, you know, the content that you're posting there. You can choose which social media platforms that you want to display by clicking Manage Social Icons. In the top right-hand corner, click Add slash Remove, and that way... The ones that are by default are going to be outlined in blue. If you don't want one of them, go ahead and click it to unoutline it. And then you can click the ones that you do want to use. When you selected all of the profiles or the platforms that you're wanting to use, go ahead and click OK at the bottom. Now these will just have the URLs for that platform. You want it to connect specifically to your page, so you're going to want to click or toggle on the option, connect to my social accounts. Once you've done that, you can click edit, and this is the URL for your page. So, for example, say you go to your page on Facebook, simply copy uh, the address bar, the URL in the address bar, which is this area right here, and paste it in here. So, for example, our Twitter is twitter.com slash hswebsites. So, that's what we put in here. Once you've entered in all of your URLs, click OK, and then you can click OK again when you're done. Um, so those are really, really useful for getting your site visitors to connect with your social media. And one more thing I want to mention is if you click on More and then Advanced, you can change the style of these buttons, the color of the element, and of the icons themselves. And you can also change the design of them. So they have different design options. And you can choose which one fits with your website the best. The next element is the social share icons. And it's the same concept, except these allow the site visitor to share the current page on their personal social media profiles. So again, if you add that element and then click display share icons, you can select or deselect the, from the options that are available. And then when people go to your published site and click on this button, it's going to pull up a window that has the link to the page that you put this on ready to share in that platform. So this is useful if you want people to be able to share the content that you put on your page. Um, you can also change the design for this element by clicking on the element, click more, click advanced, and then change design. And again, just choose the one that best fits with your website. Uh, the next element available is one we're all very familiar with. It's the Facebook like button. You know, we see this pretty much everywhere. When you first add the element to your website, it's immediately going to ask for your URL for your Facebook page. Now, one thing I want to mention is it does have to be a page. It can't be a personal profile. Um, so go to your page, copy the address bar, and then paste that right there. Click Save. And now, when people click this button, it's not going to have them like your page but it's going to have them like your website on Facebook. Uh, the next option is the Facebook Share button. And this is going to allow people to share either the current page, which is what it is by default, or if you click on Widget Settings and then Settings on the right, you can click this checkbox 
and put in a custom URL. Now this can be any website that you want people to be able to share. If you have another page or a different website you want people to be able to share, you put that in here and click finish. And then when people click that, it's gonna pull up another window, a Facebook window with that URL ready to share. So use that, you know, however you need to. The next option is Facebook comments. Now these are automatically going to be in a blog element if you have them, but you can also just add it to your site if you have a spot where you want people to be able to add comments. There are a couple limitations I want to make sure you're aware of. The site visitor has to be able to log into a Facebook profile in order to comment. So if you have a site visitor that does not have Facebook, unfortunately they won't be able to comment, but most people have Facebook, so it's not too big of an issue. And second, you cannot delete comments that are posted here, so just be aware of that. You can click on the widget settings and then settings to limit the number of posts that show per page. The next element that's available is the Facebook page plugin. So if you click on that and put it on your website, it's also going to immediately ask you for the URL for your Facebook page. So paste that in there. And then it's honestly it's just going to show a preview of your Facebook page. It's going to have your profile picture, your cover photo, an option for them to like your page if they haven't already, and an option for them to send you a message. So this would pull up Messenger for them to contact you. And if they have any friends that like your page as well, that's going to display here. Obviously this information is going to be individual to the person viewing it but it just gives them a little preview of your Facebook page and if they click on it, it'll actually bring them to your page in Facebook in a new window. The next three elements, as I mentioned before, are those Google Plus elements, so we're gonna skip past those because they're no longer relevant. The LinkedIn Share button is the next one and it's the same concept as the Facebook Share. It's an option for your site visitor to either share the default current page or for you to give them a third party URL to share. Um, and again, you can put anything in here that you want, or if you don't check this box, it's automatically just gonna be the page you place it on. When you're done you know, setting that up, click finish, and that's it for that button. All right, now we're moving on to the Twitter elements. There's the Twitter follow button, and this is simply to have them follow you on Twitter. So you need to copy your Twitter URL for your page and paste it in there. And then when people click this, as long as they're logged into Twitter on their browser, they're going to be able to follow your site very easily by clicking this button. And you can choose whether you want to show the number of followers that you have or show your username or not. When you're done, click Finish. The next option is actually a really cool one. It's the Twitter Tweet button, and you can customize this really in depth. So basically, it's the same as the Facebook and LinkedIn Share, where you can either have it be the default current page or third-party URL. But you can also put your Twitter handle here if you want people to be able to mention you in the tweet that they share, and you can also add a preset text that you want to display when they share this set, uh, URL. So, for example, you can put love this site and your Twitter handle and the URL, and when you finish and do a preview and click on that button, it's going to pull up another window that has the text the URL to share, and your Twitter handle already preset in that tweet. And as long as they're logged in or able to log in, they can just click the button to tweet that. So it makes it really easy and you can really customize what you want to have in that tweet. And then the last element is the Twitter feed. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a feed from your Twitter that shows the last few posts. It's gonna have you immediately put the URL for your Twitter page, and then they're just going to be able to scroll through the most recent posts from you. Um, you can go into the settings of this and set how many tweets you want to show, um, but ultimately they can just scroll through, and when they find one that they like, 
they can click on it and it'll bring them into Twitter in another window. So there's a lot of options for allowing your site visitors to connect with social and there are so many benefits of integrating your website with social media profiles. So definitely take the time to set these up and take advantage of this option. Thank you.